Love Behind Chastening by Andrew Scheller In Exodus 5 we note that the first ones allowed by God to suffer in Egypt were his own people, the children of Israel. To many today this is a great stumbling block to their faith. How could God allow this to happen, they often reason. But think about it, the Lord says in 1 Peter 4 verse 17, the time has come that judgment must begin at the house, or household, of God. Would it be a loving thing for God to permit his own to become enamored with and comfortable in a corrupt, fallen world, where even creation itself groans awaiting redemption? Romans 8 verses 19 to 23. It must ever be brought before us that this is not our home, we are but pilgrims and strangers here. Otherwise, we would not look for a better. The best thing for the Israelites in Egypt was for them to want to leave it. This would never have happened if God had given them ease and comfort there. Beloved, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, for whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth. Hebrews 12 verses 5 and 6